Okay, this is the supine workout. We'll get started and we'll move pretty quickly. And this is for really intro beginner when you feel very, um, just being vertical or in, or in the chair is very difficult. Um, and we'll start with some upper body and then um, some leg and some more pelvic core. Very simple. You do what you can, add some weights, you can use your hands and do what feels right. So I'm gonna lay down. You just use your hands if you want. You put your hands up and you're just gonna just make some circles with your hands 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then put your hands to the side. Same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the back way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you're doing this, you put your hands, your arms off the ground. You're also going to hug yourself. That's a really good tight squeeze, which is actually good to know your body. It's a good body scan. You're going to hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, you can also then do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm going to go off my sink. I'm counting. You get the point. The same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, all that is trying to do is to get the blood moving, get some motion in the arms and joints, get them lubricated. That's for people who are very just weakened from their pots. We get it, we understand. You can use a soup can, a water bottle, or a hand weight, same thing. You can make some circles this way, circles this way, do dumbbells this way, do dumbbells this way, and do dumbbells that way. All good. Because we're going to do a whole cycle of this, and then we're going to um, do the whole thing over again as many times as you want. One cycle from the upper body and lower body, you can do is one cycle, 10 cycles, 20 cycles, do it once a day, five times a day. You can do this in your bed, on the floor, on your sofa. So next thing is your feet. I have my shoes off, my old runner's feet. So you're just gonna actually wiggle your toes for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slow it down a little. You can lift your feet off the ground and just paddle your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And really, you're gonna actually have your kneecaps and your knees off the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next thing is you're gonna actually, you're gonna actually pedal your legs out. And at that point, you're gonna actually you're, you're have your legs fanning, just have your feet sweeping and the heels on the ground, or the more adventuresome you want to feel, lift your legs up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and you might feel it feels right. It feels uncomfortable. Just leave your legs on the ground. The next thing is going to be is you're going to bring your legs up to your chest. Legs, knee, bend your knees up to your chest. And you're just going to turn your legs to your side. One, up to midline. Two, up to midline. Three, four, five, Six, you can slow it down. You can do it basically five times each side. And then you to straighten your legs out again. And what you're gonna to try to do this time is bring your leg up straight. And if you can, just bring it up to what feels right. Even if it's just here, then 10 times each side. Just 10 times each side. And some of you might need to get ankle weights. There's no need. Each of your legs muscles weigh 
a decent amount. I weigh about 185, 190. So each of my legs might weigh about 60 pounds potentially. So about 10 times each side. And now the third thing you're going to do is, a quick exercise you're going to do is you're just going to push your legs into the bed or to the ground. Just push your, you're going to push your kneecaps into the ground for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Then the next thing we do is is something bang my head on the dumbbell is you're gonna lift up your touch, your bridge pose. It's good for the core, it's the blood on the pelvic, which is a big blood reservoir. Someone just lift your touch up a little, so I'm gonna lift up all the way. Ten seconds. One, ten times, two, five, and just do what feels right. If it's just an inch, that's fine. If it's all the way up, that's great. Make sure you're breathing through all these exercises. Great. Great. And then back that way. Now you're going to actually just bring your knees up to your chest. Last exercise. Knees up to the chest, bring them down to the floor. Knees up to the chest, down to the floor. Knees up to the chest, down to the floor. Knees up to the chest, 10 times. And that is your exercise. You'll do that whole cycle. It's a one cycle. You can do it as many times as you want. Repeat it, rest between each one. It's your innovation. Some might do it just once a day. Some might do it 20 times a day. It's up to you. It's a beginning, beginning workout. We have people who are so debilitated from their condition, this is what they need to start and that's perfect. So welcome and we're just proud that you're doing this.